Welcome back, guys. Time for some more Druid. Some chonky Druid. Trying to level him up. Skill is not ready. I bet it is ready. You're just not telling me. Let's try to get power level. Oh, yeah. Some chunky damage. We like big bear damage. What is this? Bear smash. Bear smash some more. Bear smash. Bear still smash. I like big bears and I cannot lie. He's so chonky. Well, let's go down towards the main quest area. Woo! Like the booms. Don't stab me in the. That's not very nice, sir. You stab me through the chest, like. Like, I. That's just, like, rude. Intro goes hard. Well, thank you, Andrew Foster. Appreciate that. Deleted. Character is so thick. Very impressive. And dead. Uh, you have an ability. Um, an active ability that lets you target an enemy to have your wolves attack, but it has a cooldown on it. I've never done this dungeon? What is it? Barbarian. Well, might as well. I'll go unlock it. How many classes are in Diablo 4? Currently, there's five, but you know they're going to add more over time. They have to. Ew. Gross catacomb. Very nasty. Very ew. I see pulsating sacks. Oh, plague maggot. Mmm. Uh, bonus damage based on the sum of your current life and fortified life. Oh. So, having high life is very good. Pulverize. Dealing damage surrounding enemies. Next pulverize will overpower with for every 10 seconds we remain healthy. Enemies are stunned for two seconds when they are overpowered with pulverize. It's pretty good. That means it adds 
makes them big, chunky damages. So overpower adds your current health and max health to your attack. That's why you want to always overpower when possible. Is there some more ways to trigger overpower? No, not that one. Hi there. He stabbed me. What the hell? That was a big hit. Okay, I'm gonna... Map, map! I need to smack you. I'm very upset with you. So much smacky smacks. Fuck Animus from Animus Carriers. Hi there. Four twenty, nice. That was some nice damage. Did he reset? Oh God, come on, really? Sir, you, you can't heal, that's cheating. That is very cheats. There we go, that's better. Kingmaker. Oh, we can use axes. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Increase damage to close enemies, that's really good, because as a bear, they're always close to us. That should help make us go kaboomy. Okay, uh, a little more animus, and then we're good. Thank 
you? Okay, gotta stay healthy so we get that overpower buff. Great axe. Um, I'm using um I got the bar I got the uh, uh just an, an axe upgrade. It's going pretty good. The bear takes quite a few stat investments to make him good. But we're working on it. Sometimes it's very good and sometimes not so good. Alright, next we get Fortify on our Wolves when you critically strike. I don't crit very often, so that would not be very helpful. Entering Bulwark makes you unstoppable. Level 13? Yes, please. Alright, let's see. What do we want? Probably the Ferocious Wolfpack one to help us have even more life. Yeah, it's fun in the early game to like try different things, see what's working, what's not, since you can swap freely. Yeah, nothing from the um, beta will carry over to release, except if you do get a character level 20, you get a cute little wolf pack that you can wear on your back that will you want to protect forever as he's so adorable. Prentice one. That big boom damage. Whenever he overpowers, it's just insane. He has so much health. Bear will be one of the best tanky specs because having lots of life actually increases your damage drastically. Can't wait to see what some druid legendaries are for our class. Hope we start getting some good drops soon. Some gold. Curse Ghost, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Our Barbarian was getting stacked with so many like legendary drops all the time. True, it hasn't been quite so lucky. We got one legendary though, but it wasn't like a big damage increase. It's more defensive one.
Yeah, so far we're barely making it through. Our rage is unbearable and grisly. It's ferocious. Yeah, we play more Resident Evil tomorrow. It's a long game, so we're not gonna be in one stream or even two streams. It's it's a beefy, beefy game. Eric, it's a game that I'll really play all the time as well. Because it's such a good game. Such big damage when you chunk with that fortify hit. Need some other form of healing. This other one, let's see, what does the bear roar do again? Reducing damage dealt fortifies you for your life, slows enemies, heals you. I'd heal for about 16% of my life. I don't know, maybe. Let me try that. See if that feels any better. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. We'll find out. Does give me a little bit of healing. The other one gave me some damage resistance. So it's, oh, we'll see. All classes look good. Yeah, they're all really, really nice. I prob My first class is probably going to be the Barbarian, though, because I really like how they get so many gear slots. So I can wear, I can get more loot than anyone else. Because I can have so many slots to put gear into. Um, oh yeah, Cyclone. 20% non-physical damage reduction. That's pretty good. Vulnerable. Well, that's all good. There's, there's really no bad talent there. They're all nice. If I can get like a pass, if I can get like that slotted where I'm a legendary, that'd be amazing to just like get that passive bonus without having to equip, have to equip. All right, you're dead, sir. Give me that bloodstone. Yeah, Barbarian gets to have four weapon slots. And then, and yes, all those weapon slots do count towards your all, your power, even if your attack doesn't use that weapon. As long as the attack is like something passive, then it'll apply to all your weapons. So Barbarian will start out weaker than the other classes, but when you have four mods and four weapons, that's when the Barbarian starts popping off and being like, sup, Biaj? Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
That little bit of healing there is nice. Damage reduction, also nice. The fortify part's really nice. So I can cast that and then boom! Big old damages. This isn't hardcore. I wouldn't want to learn if it came on hardcore. That'd be awful. Shit. Stop healing, that's rude. So low damage. Oh god. He is chunking me and I can barely handle him. We're not doing much damage at all against this guy.
Okay, he's finally down. Jeez. He didn't even drop anything. Nice. Really? You gonna screw me like that, mister? Oh my god. So rude. <sighs> Apparently console players want to stream can't play says not allowed to stream this game. That's weird. I, I, don't, I don't use the in console streamer thing anyway, so I wouldn't know about that. It's... I don't even know how often they update that stuff. All right, let's go south and deal with some bros. I need to figure out more ways to trigger overpower on the druid. So we can just figure out how to somehow trigger overpower. Other than the once every 10 seconds thing. That would be nice. I know that boss was hard and he didn't even drop any loot, which is the most insulting thing ever in a game like this, is to not drop loot. By the way, if any of you in chat are, are world bosses or bosses of dungeons and you don't have like a legendary piece of gear, on your corpse when you die, you're rude. You are very damn rude. Lined hood. He at least dropped loot. He's just some random dude in a cellar. You just play in the hard difficulty where you don't get any loot. That's not true. You actually get more loot on this difficulty. You get more gold and more XP. That's the only two changes. And the enemies are still a bit tougher. There's no loot changes though. Ooh, ringing in my ears. Ooh. Yeah, graphics are maxed. It's an ARPG, so they're not gonna be like draw dropping because there's isometric and far away. But it looks damn, damn good for an ARPG though. Most don't look this nice. Yeah, I think he just got really unlucky there that they didn't drop literally anything for me, that boss. Whole point of dungeons is to get loot and they didn't even give me loot, which is like, what? Why? How dare they? That is illegal, sir.
Oh yeah, I forgot about the world boss. That the world boss will be spawning later today again. If we can get high enough level that we can go over there and get a little bit of loot. you need I need you to give me quests and experience points I provide this I need the blacksmith all items Boop. thank you Two-handed hammer. Let's try <laughs> legendary. Earth skills um, deal more critical damage to crowd-controlled enemies. Druid only. Oh well. Bad luck. Try again. Bad luck. Bad luck. Try again. Is better than what I got though. Willpower, vulnerable damage, crowd controls. Doesn't help too much, but I'll take it. My husband fit. Your husband? My husband left me. Ghoul hearts. What if I can get a ghoul friend? Level 14? Fudge, yeah. Sorry, language. Transforming human form, distant enemies, non-physical resistances. Cooldown is, so it lowers the cooldown, that's nice. Um, I think we want that increased damage on Pulverize though. Although, we maul so many times, it would be nice to have a little extra damage on the mauling. Twenty damage every so often versus six damage every swing. I guess it's about the same. We'll keep pumping that into there. Then one we'll lock a uh, shape shift into wear bear coming unstoppable. Charge forward, dealing. 69 damage and knocking back enemies. Enemies who are knocked back into terrain take an additional 125 damage and are stunned for three seconds. Huh. Try for those bonus damage. This bonus is reduced to each enemy hit after the first. Casting Trample grants 20 spirit. Casting Trample grants um, base life as fortify. Earth skills increase damage to slowed enemies. Rabies. Spread rabies to nearby enemies. Form a hurricane around you that deals 200 damage to enemies over 28 uh, seconds. Storm skills have up to 20% chance to make vulnerable enemies. Enemies vulnerable for one second. Duration of hurricane and cataclysm by 5%. Yeah, seems like a nice skill. 
shapeshift into a dire wear bear for 10 seconds, getting bonus damage, bonus re damage reduction, damage bonus increased by 3% for each second while in this form. Kills extend the duration by one second up to 10 additional seconds. Ooh. Trample seems cool. I like that. Iron chunks. Okay, both things are to the north, so let's go north. Uh, poison where there's a legendary for po for werewolves that when you hit someone you deal you consume a a chunk of the poison damage on it and deal that damage instantly so that's why you want to have as much poison as possible because there's legendary that when you smack someone it consumes a big chunk of that for direct damage once you it seems like Druid really pops off once you get a few legendaries with some good skills synergies. That's when it starts getting real, real spicy. Real juicy. More strangers in the camp. You're a stranger in the camp. Trample enemies into shockwave. Cataclysm. Massive Thorn follows you, race seconds, tornadoes, knock enemies, knock back enemies, and lightning strikes. Do 150 damage. Petrify. Case only red enemies in stone. Sign in for three seconds. You deal increased crit damage to enemies who are affected by petrify. Against boss, crit strike damage bump increased to 50% and duration increased to six seconds. Boulder. The damn hoist is stuck. We've got to go on foot. Look out! Oh my god, ghouls! Hey, that's my mother's charm on your wrist. Mm, it's mine now, girl. She gave it to me when I let her and her friend pass through. Oh, she gave it to you, huh? Yeah. I believe that. Chest. Full of crap. Maybe we should go back. Round up the knights. And leave my mother in Lilith's care for as long as that will take? No. I'm going on. You got to level 25 don't to do. Um, you can't go any further in the beta, but you can do dungeons. You can try to get all legendaries in every one of your slots. Basically, just grind and stuff. There's nothing really specific to do. Once you hit 25, you're kind of at the cap of what the beta is for. Another ring. You can also just make another character too. Test them out. Probably the best use of the beta is to figure out what class you want to main first. 
by trying them all out and see how what you like, which ones you like the feel of the most. <sighs> Dead end. Uh, nothing you do in the beta will carry over to the main game, so you can do as much or as little as you want. Like, you could get all the collectibles and stuff, but then we have to do that again anyways when the game launches, so I wouldn't recommend doing that personally. So that way you can leave yourself some surprises for the game launch. Yeah, there's no in-game because it's a beta into level 25, which is not even... Which is only one quarter of the way through the leveling. So you can't even really judge balance either, because at level 25, one character may be like super overpowered, but then at level 40, they may be terrible. You, ne you never know. What's special about this place anyway? What would draw Lilith here? Hell if I know. Prava doesn't tell us anything. No one goes in, nothing comes out. That's all. I want to find I would love to find um what you call it uh lots of legendaries please uh, no lift the jam must be deeper down well they had an in-game um play test for special people like a while ago and they had the over here they always have a family friend alpha of all their games Wait, for probably on. a good year or two before and launch. There she goes. So I'm sure lots of people got to play Enemies beforehand. Nowhere to go. The fight's coming to us this time. I am frozen. Open that door, girl. I've got it. Thank you. Hi, frozen. Oh, yes. Hi, frozen. I'm Chad. That was quick Sure. Why would your mother leave you like that? She wouldn't. Because her daughter she sucks. Have. I'm sure she had good reason. I wonder if I just... These are passives. Hmm... Nah, I don't think it's worth it, but just like two points, get some passive monsters. Maybe I got legendary gives me like one of each of the each of the little birdies. One of y'all need to give me a legendary, like now, or I'm gonna file a complaint. I'll file a bug report that I'm not getting legendaries as often as I feel like I should. I will file a letter. That wolf is injured, I can't heal him in any way. Uh, 
dead end. Oh, do you know how many people they had play the early access beta last weekend? 6.5 million. That was the early access beta. That's a hell of a lot. Over there. An opening. Go. And I'm sure some of those are KFC chicken sandwiches, but a lot of those are gonna a lot more are gonna be pre-orders. So they just had Ooh, plus three max life? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Gamer Bomb with 132 month resub. Thank you very much. Over there, the hoist. At last, I'll ride out. Slain? What happened? Let me open the gate, please. No. The escort. Oh, God, the boss for this They're is going to be terrible. Dead. Over there. It won't. Search for Lilith. This boss is going to be very, very difficult Lilith for the Druid be to beat. Far. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but we'll try. What is this? How your mind raced. Uh, Thanos XP, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. Appreciate that. What's going to be your first ever subscriber email? Chat will spam it, whichever one it is. Your first ever subscriber email. What's it gonna be? This boss is terrible for Barb as well. I didn't have too much issue on my bar, but I had some really OP legendaries at the level I took did it at. Upheaval was very strong in the barb. Go down this way. Ooh, Dan, huh? Good choice. Huh? That's a good one. Huh? Huh?
Oh, we're almost 15. Do we go on this level or the next level? Uh, next level we get. Next level after this one we get trample. But not this one. Trample seems fun if you can knock the enemies into walls and stuff. Level 15. Oh, hi, Tifa. Are you going to come here and take a nap? Do you want to come nap? Or do you want to sit here and be on camera? Well, hi. This is Tifa, my kitty cat. Uh, Canellian, thank you for the 108 month resub. What's gonna be your emote of choice where you want chat to spam? Hi. Tifa roam outside. She, we have a sun port she can go out on. But she can't go out outside outside because I don't know if she'll ever come back. She's, she likes to explore. Uh, 200 damage plus. Yeah, we'll try that. What? You wanted to get your light sticks out? You want to party? Oh. Dan Party is a good one. Mm -hmm. She was just out in the sun porch, just lying in the heat. Oh my god, the cakes is giving away one of our retro t shirts from our store at Dan's Gaming Not Store. If you want a chance to win a free t-shirt, one of our t-shirts, type estimation point enter for a chance to win. Been paid for by the cakes, so make sure you give them a thank you. Wait a minute, Druidic Spirit offering. Spirit boobs, boons. Um, unlock every boon from every spirit to gain access to spirit bonding. To activate additional boon with a spirit of your choice. Oh. S Druid Spirits of the Grove. Oh, it's in a different place that we can't go to in the beta. Well, that sucks. So my spirit animal tree is locked out. No boon for you. Again, type exclamation point enter if you want a chance to win one of our retro t-shirts. Courtesy of the cakes. My spirit animal is Tifa.
Serax with 102 month resub. Thank you. Congrat, Tally Voss Normandy. You won. You won the t-shirt. Go to dansgaming.store slash redeem and get your free shirt. Again, it's dansgaming.store slash redeem. Links there in chat as well. You crit the shit out of her. Damn. I chunked her. You've mastered your fear. This boss is gonna be brutal for the druid. I don't know how it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. To say the least. Let's hope it works though. Boss Normie's been in our community for a very, very long time. So it's cool to see someone win that's been a super long term fan. I don't know if you can tell, but I think they're a big fan of Mass Effect. That way. Oh. Gain enhanced pulverize. Ten stack pulverize will overpower. Yeah, it's a Dan fan. Thank you, 001, for the 107 month resub. What do you want? We want chat to spam for you, 001. And they shall. Dan, easy, good choice. Easy, easiest pick ever. I love seeing that thing there. Oh, uh, thank you, Tally. This barrier, it looks like the same kind of magic as before. I think I can dispel it. Do I have to defend you against wave of enemies? Yes. Seven hundred damage, damn.
Thank you, ma'am. Your character has the right to bear arms. All right. I'm back after that horrifying memory of someone saying something awful. Not enough blood. Never enough blood. I will follow you to the ends of sanctuary. Please let mother. this boss go well. There she is. Look at the gifts she's given me. Why aren't you slam it? Oh, God.
There we go. That's better. Please. I don't want you to die. All right, well, this is actually going pretty good. This final phase will be the real test. You gotta do big daddy damage now. You gotta summon that pit lord. He's no joke. Come on now. Uh, 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 oh god, oh god, stunned! Oh god, why am I so stunned? Okay, Pit Lord down. Just gotta get her down very slowly. Okay, one down. God, there's so many still. She dead, thank God. No. <laughs> Woo. I know I killed your mom, but can I take all her loot? Is that okay? It's not disrespectful, you're... right? It's just it's just part of the game. A dagger I can't use. Great. Thanks. I'm not like getting any loot from this place. Very sus. Let's teleport. Yeah, don't mind me. Oh, I'm so sorry about your mom. Um, oh, she's got money in here. I'm gonna take that. She's, she's dead, right? She doesn't need it. I'm just gonna take this. She, she would want me to have it. She even was like, hey, please take this. You just didn't hear her. Came apart nicely. <laughs> Repair. I don't know if I like this furry class. Well, you don't have to play as a furry. You can just do magic if you want. Be a magic druid. Keep it. Fifteen almost got our trample ability. Oh, I bet you liked him, Haz. <laughs> um, let's head back into town. Maybe turn the a couple of things over here. Pillar looks like a Balrog from Lord of the Rings. Well, just demonic-like and. Balrog was designed to look demonic like. Like demon adjacent. Um, I need a few more ghoul hearts. Well, there they are. I can go turn them in. And then once we turn this in, we might hit 16, probably not. We're very close, though. Excellent work, friend. Or not close at all. 
herbs a lie. Take all the herbs, though. Hello, wing spoiler. I will take the um, potion. Need some more XP. Just realize I don't have any health potions. What the hell? Well, that's awkward. Helps a little bit. Nope. There is something strange. Darkened hole. <laughs> I bet. Guys, drop healing potions. That'd be great. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm thinking we might go barbarian on launch because I really like how the barbarian plays. Sorceress is fun too. Out of potion charges, I'm gonna have to teleport. Let's go grab some healing down here. More Thank you. Each day. Feel like I was. On the brink of death there. Dear Lilith, unholy mother, please bless thy run with all the legendaries. Please blesseth thy child with all the loot of epicness. I would like thine blessing upon thy stream. Give thy person more health, more damage. Well, let's see here. Trample. That'd be more damage though. Every 20 seconds. No, sir. Hunter damage pulverizes great. That one is like, I don't know. 
It's all right, but if it doesn't, they don't hit the walls, and it's kind of. What's the radius on this? Pretty good. It's not massive damage, but it's more consistent. Necromancer right now is too much fun. Uh, what build are you doing? Are you doing like blood or dots or minion? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Thirty percent bonus damage. While we're performing, we see uh, additional healing from all sources. When you remain in bear form for at least twenty-five seconds, your next skill will overpower. Ooh! Now that's a good passive. Because I definitely want to overpower as much as possible. Got him. Legendary! <gasps> Two minute axe, what is it? While dashing, Shred seeks out nearby poison enemies, instantly dealing 144% of the poisoning damage to them. Druid only. While dashing, Shred. Critical strike damage, vulnerable damage, willpower. More critical strike. Oh, earth. Nope. That is better than my current one. Um. Druidic spirit offering. Fortunately, I can't do anything with that yet. Exorcist Cash. Have you run into the Butcher yet? No. I have not. What are the talents after this? So... Bonus damage, fine. Grant spirit, that's okay. Grant fortifies life. Fortifies okay. I think 
probably up there. We'll find what we're looking for. Uh, the Butcher's a vindictive bastard. I've heard that he likes to show up randomly. And then he likes to just give you compliments. And then when he gives you a compliment, then he just goes away and leaves you some loot. Yeah, he just, he just likes to drop by and be like, you look, you look fresh, meat. And then he's like, hey, would you like some loot? Here you go. I'll see you later. Bye. Just basically just a nice guy that stops by randomly. If you use a one-handed weapon, your attack speed's faster than bear. Okay. If I can get a one-handed that matches the damage of the two-handed. Very, it's a, not that much different with this one at least. What's the horn staff do? Uh, not much. Just some um, passive stat stuff. The horn staff just refers to the, its base type. As well. Say what it does, just that. That's just a stat stick. I wish that hit harder. Gained enhanced pulverize. So I think provocation is a really good bear talent that I need to get. And damage reduction while in bear form. Maximum spirit. Core skills cost more spirit, but do increase damage. Near the way to trigger it. Increase the amount of fortify you gain from all sources by 5%. 5% when struck to be fortified. Whenever you stun immobilize, gain fortify. Your storm skills grant two spirit and deal damage to vulnerable. Earth skills a chance to trigger a free storm in the same category. Or than might. Werewolf. Gain uh, additional maximum life in a wearable form for three seconds after leaving, and for three seconds. While healthy, you deal increased damage. After being wearable wear bear form for two and a half seconds, deal 20% increased damage for 15 seconds. Ooh. One of these ultimate perks sounds great. Increased max health is like max over power damage. You're stuck in an illusion. Shut game. up, Wolf. Asbrek, thank you for Relax. the uh no resub. Will come to you here. You're very weird, Mr. Wolf with no face. Who are you? Their path always ends in fire and death. Seen enough. Open the door. Why 
are you telling me? Goodbye. Back in the Horadrim's illusion. Mayrell. There you are. Let's get out of here, ma'am. Oh, let me speak to you first, apparently. I think I've lost my way. Let's go. Grabs are awesome. They're very good. Yes. With us. This place is amazing. Wolves hunting packs arisen? Speaking of that, Dragon's Dogma 2 is confirmed to be in development, so we're gonna see that at some point. A preview of that game. I'm excited to see that one. Travel to the Herodric Vault. Oh, this way. Oh. The path is different now. Yes. The statue was the source of an illusion. I know it, it's I hope they give it the like treatment it deserves and like it's finally the Herodric drastically Vault. better than the first game without losing like the bits that made it really cool. That's what I expected, but let's not give up hope. What in the path of exile is this game? <laughs> Lol. <sighs> Sealed shut. What of the passage over there? I'm already on it, ma'am. Let me grab the book. I found a ring that makes pulverize an earth skill, and after casting it does 90 damage over 20 seconds. That's awesome. Uh, wear bear is good, but it requires you to really stack health. Because overpower is your mo your primary damage Please. dealer, and you want to have as much health as possible to really you might want to amp that up. Back. Just be shot. Uh, Let's thanks. keep on. Let's go. Yeah, the druid armor so far is really cool. Like, look at this helmet. This is absolutely badass. It looks like a dragon. Hey, wait for me. I choose not to. It's the same. S Open it. Chest beast shot. Chest beast. Shot. Gotcha.
Ma'am, you stepped out of my pulverize. Not cool. Why this druid seems like he is just not getting loot to drop for him. The barbarian was just getting legendaries left and right and yellow loot left and right, but this, this guy, like, nothing. Big chunky damage. Damage is all about those overpowers. So I'm thinking if we drop, I'm, I'm thinking that for bear form, this provocation talent is extremely important because it gives us guaranteed overpower, which is what we need for the bear form to do good damage. Nifty Luck, thank you for that 109 month resub. Appreciate that. Such a nice uh, Roderick Vault. It's so pretty. I feel like melee lacks in other levels. Yeah, melee is always gonna fall behind spells for the for the beginning of the game. But eventually, melee starts getting geared to the teeth, and then their their hits are much harder than spells because they have to go up in melee range. I uh, thank you, Giga, for the uh, raid. I appreciate that. Welcome, raiders. I like this, the sexy winks. I can't do that in my breath, but thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. We're trying out Chonky Druid. We're about level 16. Playing around with Bear, Wear Baron, figuring out how to do it well. So far, it's going okay. Nothing crazy. Single target boss damage is not the best. Especially against this lady. Get out of there, ma'am. Ow. Yeah, we are barely scratching her, damn. It's gonna be a long fight. Oh God, I'm struggling here. Ah. We're barely damaging her. I feel like no damage at all. Nope. We can't trigger our overpower, which is the problem. Yeah, that was a good hit.
Okay, gotta get those overpowers. Extremely important. But we gotta stay healthy for that. I think that's the goal. I gotta switch a couple things around to give us these guaranteed overpowers, which is everything for this class. Ma'am. She dodged out of my pulverize, not cool. Ow. Whoop, oh, oh, nope. Pulverize keeps missing her. Do I take damage in here? I'm just slow. Uh oh. Very low on damage. That's not good. Uh, help. That means I won't get an overpower. I really need to heal. Um, Grimbringer, uh, undo that, please. I'll fix follower mode in a second. It's supposed to be set to a minute, not 10 minutes. Oh God. Oh, I'm so screwed. Just gotta stay away from her for a minute. Wolfies, if you could please deal with her for a minute. I've got to run away bravely. Way bravely. Yeah, you can attack the orbs and it prevents it from blowing up. Sometimes you get unlucky with where they spawn. There's no other way to avoid damage. Uh oh, that's not good. They're in the middle. Who's gonna go get him? Ah. Oh, oh. Gotta get my pulverized damage and we can go chunker. This is so brutal under it. Such a terrible fight for melee because that central thing. Stop running from me, God! Yeah, she doesn't like leave the center. <laughs> oh 
Oh god. Oh, we got a legendary. Fuck yeah. Woo. That was brutal. Critical strikes with shred deal damage as lightning damage to enemies and surrounding enemies. Well, it'd be nice if I was using shred, but I did not use shred. Shred is that, that werewolf. I was a demon guarding that book. I should take this back to Norel. Yeah, Blizzard does not like melee in some of these fights at all. <laughs> it's like, really, you can have a big swirly thing in the middle that she constantly goes into so that melee can't go up in there? That's that's fair. That's very nice. I hope you had more luck than me. Interesting. This ledger was written by the Haradrim. This is chronicling spells. Um, we got a necklace. Total armor, dodge chance. Yeah, I'll take that. Damage per second. Legendary two-handed. No. Nope. Plus one rank of wolves. Isn't really doing much for me that low level legendary anymore. Dex is crit chance, willpower is skill damage. Oh, I think that's worth it then. Need a good one hitter to go with that. It's not quite. Intelligence is resource generation. I didn't realize um, that we wanted willpower so much. That's our big damage dealer. I feel like most boss words you have a range attack. Yeah, at least so far, but you're not really expecting to range very much. It's hard to deal damage with range, especially if all your other abilities are melee. It's not too big, it's just an, it's annoying is all. It's like she's doable, she's winnable, it's just not the most fun thing in the world. There is a side quest over here. Let's go do that real fast. Boom! Beautiful. Once we at 17, I'm going to swap out of town because I don't think Trample is as good as a second form of overpower would be. Then we'll get Trample afterwards. This game is a dick game we playing for 12 hours. Oh. It's definitely a game that's gonna when, suck up all my free time when it launches. It's one of those games that you just know is gonna be good. You know this is gonna be the game that you enjoy playing and grinding out. Give thanks to the shrine? Let's see. I appreciate that. Oh. There we go. All right, let's head back over that way. Nope, that way. Having so much fun, Necromancer might go without a launch. A lot of people are loving the Necromancer because apparently they're very, very, very powerful at the level range that you have them at. I'm not sure how they do into in-game, but 
at least leveling wise, it seems like the Druid is very, very, very strong. I mean, the Necromex is very strong. Cathedral of Light. And it's just fun having a class where you have a bunch of minions. I hope the Druid class has a couple legendaries that would bring back the summoner druid where you have my See that the kitchen is work. ready for the morrow service angels above you've returned the reverend mother yes i need that please um To head out that way. Yeah, the game's currently missing, like, you know, your iconic tank class, like Paladin or Crusader. You know, a big sword and board. Use Sometimes with Holy Magic, it doesn't always have to be a Holy ma Magic one. There's rumors and um, speculation based on a picture that they might be adding a new class that's like a mix of Paladin and Amazon that looks like it might be angel-based. So you might be able to play as an angel. Like a, they, they, they're guessing it's going to be called Valkyrie. But, you know, there's no official confirmation or anything. It's just they're mostly guessing on stuff. I think some pictures and some other, oh, oh, other stuff that may, they might think it might be the Valkyrie class. They found the little things in the data mines and stuff. Father, is that... No! No, no! Yes, kill him. <laughs> yes. Kill. Amazon, yes. The Amazon will probably have a super powerful ability called Prime, which allows you to get a free set of emotes once a month. You just gotta remember to click on a purple button in game and then click subscribe free. Then you get Amazon Prime membership to your Twitch account and then bam, you get Amazon Prime. It's only castable once a month though. And you gotta keep casting it too. How's bear treating you? The bear is barely working right now. I have an idea of how to make it better. We're gonna try that. We gotta hit level 17 though, which I don't know if we're gonna reach 17. We're only 400 XP away from 17. There we go, level 17. So I'm thinking we back off here and then we go when you're bear form for at least 25 seconds, you gain overpower. Which means that I have a second. Wait a minute. All my abilities are currently overpower abilities. Twenty-five seconds is pretty long now. I have overpower, but unfortunately, actually, it lasts through uh, D transformation. Guaranteed overpower, which I do like that. 
but get to put two more points in it it's every 15 seconds which is infinitely better well the druid like the barbarian does not have their secondary leveling system like the other three classes have all the other classes have their secondary thing in the game the druid and the barbarian have to go to other zones to get theirs and then they, there's no way to do that in the beta it entirely depends on how what the that thing does how it works Uh, Cake Donut, thank you for gifting Mob and Steady a sub. Appreciate that. Overpower. It went away. Yeah, oh, there it goes. Came back. Yeah, it's kind of slow at times. Waiting for the overpower to go off. Okay, at least we have it for next round. I haven't fixed that invisible wall yet. It'd be nice if I get a single bear form legendary. And the game's like, no. I think not. Her shield's very good, yeah. Got the gate open, so now we can go back to the... Got to open the other gate. Never mind. <gasps> yeah, I don't know. That what? That talent's not worth it yet. Now that i played with it a little bit. While you have Fortify for over 50% of your maximum life, your Earth skills deal increased damage. Hmm. Increase per enemy... Trample hits for 20 cast fortify against spirit. Spirit might be better. We'll see though. I do miss the overlay uh, map. I don't know why they got rid of that.
But always play with the overlay map. Uh, but this, for some reason, they don't have it in this one. Overlay map wasn't in Diablo 3, really. Wonder why they don't have that. It's strange. Because I find myself just looking at the mini map the whole time. <laughs> not the, it's not really making me look at the game any more than if they just had a mini map going on. Coming, tramp up! Overpower me. Forty five percent of your base life for only three seconds. Unstoppable. Fortify. Deals 85 damage to surrounding enemies. It's okay. Heals you for 44% at 11, so 44 health. It's not that much. That sounds crunchy. The sound effects this game very good. Yeah, the shout on the bear is very powerful. It's um, reduced nearby enemies damage by 50% for four seconds. All forms of damage too. This is very strong defense ability. All these spirit offerings that I can't use. I would love to get more legendaries. My barbarian was spoiled by all the legendaries. This guy's barely getting any of them. It's not fair to him. Yeah, druids are one of the classes that really need those legendary affixes to make your builds come online. Without them, you're kind of, you're just okay. Some classes are more reliant on it than others.
I don't know, I just feel like the druids, this druid right here is just getting so low drop rate of loot. Like, not getting much loot at all, period. Even bosses are barely giving me anything. We're just getting very, very unlucky. Fur lined hood. Like I haven't gotten a single a single chest piece that's yellow yet. Or a piece of wrist armor in seventeen levels. I don't like the drop rate is just so low for some reason. Like, why? Keep getting all kinds of yellow weapons, though. My favorite classifier, probably math. Shattered prisms. Oops, got invisible wall there. I really was joined Barbarian. I think Barbarian's the one I'm gonna really like. Critical strikes with shred. Crown control enemies. Oh my god, ew. I gotta go back at the other ones. Yeah, I feel like the um, Blizzard should do a pass of some classes to make them more even in the early game. I feel like some classes could use a little bit of a damage boost to help them in the early game, like Druid and Barbarian can also be a little bit slow at times. Just for the, to give them a little less growing pains in the beginning. Oh my god, finally, some gloves. Legendary. Damage from Earth skills, slow enemies for five seconds. Plus one rank of Shred. Hmm. I'll take that. Went from blue to legendary. That's going to help a little bit. Getting a lot of shred stuff. Shred totem. Shred. Crown controlled enemies. Barrier. Let's see, though. Nope, they didn't do anything with the drop rates in the beta. Drop rates are the drop rates. There's not, they're not increased or decreased. They're just what they are. Because legendaries are not the best loot in the game. That'd be uniques and then ancestral items later in the hardest difficulty.
12 remaining. Uh, I missed the suspense of identifying it having to identify it. I could see that. They might have identified for other things in the game, maybe. I think most people just kind of are, got annoyed by the having to constantly go to town just to use an item you find in a dungeon. has been unsealed. Well, this next boss is going to be incredibly hard to defeat because our damage is so low. Resurrected Malice. Dying, but very slowly. <laughs> Finally got a yellow item for our chest piece. What's it gonna be? Strength, which does nothing for us. It's armor. Physical damage is nice though. Um, staff, dagger, staff, nothing. Is that a one-handed ax? I think so. While dashing, dashing, Shred seeks out nearby poison, instantly dealing poisoning damage to them. Can't use both. This game's pretty slow. Uh, no, this build is very slow. 
most uh, builds are much faster than this. This is just... So far, this druid build is very wet noodle damage against single targets. Got high burst damage against groups of enemies, though, but once every 10 seconds. It's kind of like, eh, not the best. Let's go back to that quest real fast. Uh, no, there aren't any support classes in, like, every class is designed to be a damage dealer class. And then some have some stuff, like, attached to them, but everyone's able to DPS very well. Because everyone's every class is designed to be solo. You can group if you want, but every class is designed to, like, do all content by themselves. Uh, Robotic Love, Zero Vix, uh, Seek Circus Policeman. Thank you for those resubs, guys. Uh, once you get some legendaries in place and then you get the right abilities synchronized, then it starts really popping off. Healing you. Spirit, attack speed. Override's just too good. Um, knock down enemy for 1.5 seconds. Maximum spirit. Core skills cost more damage, but deal more... Be pretty good. Thirty percent more damage. Base skills generate more spirit. Attack gains attack speed and heals, and an enemy is struck. Shred second, third attacks form a dash. In addition, shreds strikes increase by twenty percent damage. Very cool stuff. 